The most apparent characteristic to look for in a college is the variety and level of academic programs. A well-known college for specific fields of study can provide top-notch instructors, research projects, and industry contacts to get you internships, networking opportunities, and job openings in those sectors. Are you wondering about the best colleges in the world? In this video, we will be looking at seven of them. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And remember to click the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload our videos. Number 7. University of California, Berkeley. The University of California, Berkeley, is located 15 miles from San Francisco in the Bay Area. Nearly 350 degree programs leading to legally recognized advanced degrees such as bachelor's, master's, and doctoral levels are offered by the University of California at Berkeley. Selective admissions policies are in place at this 150-year-old American college based on entrance exams and a student's record of academic achievement. International students are always invited to apply for enrollment at this school, with a 10% to 20% acceptance rate. More than 3,000 foreign scholarships have been awarded to students at Berkeley for either teaching or research roles. As a result of their work, the University of California researchers found many new elements for the periodic table, including Californium and Berkelium. Number 6. California Institute of Technology, Caltech. The 124-acre campus of the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, in Pasadena, California, about 11 miles northeast of downtown Los Angeles, is a world-renowned science and engineering research and teaching institution. Caltech has over 2,200 students, with about 55% enrolled in graduate programs. About six academic departments, many of which offer highly regarded graduate programs, with a student-to-faculty ratio of just 3 to 1. This university has a 0 to 10% acceptance rate based on students' previous academic records and grades. As part of the university's commitment to its students, the Caltech Library and other on-campus resources and services are available. During their stay at Caltech, almost 80% of undergraduates invest in research. Caltech's Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowships program allows students to draft research ideas, engage with mentors, and deliver presentations on their topics, given the university's 50 research institutions. Number 5. University of Cambridge The University of Cambridge was founded in 1209 and is about 60 miles north of London. Approximately 19,000 students attend the university, with over 35% pursuing graduate degrees. This college has a stringent admission process based on entrance tests and students' prior academic records and grades, the admittance rate ranges between 10% and 20%. Around 20% of the student body is outside the European Union, non-EU students pay a higher tuition rate, which varies by field of study. Cambridge's academic calendar is organized into three terms, Michaelmas, that's fall, Lent, winter, and Easter, spring, and the university's official language is English. Number 4. University of Oxford. Although the precise date of the University of Oxford's inception is uncertain, the institution dates back to at least 1096. Oxford is located about 60 miles northwest of London and has a graduate student population of approximately 45%. This college has a stringent admission process based on entrance tests and students' prior academic records and grades, the admittance rate ranges between 20% and 30%. Oxford's academic year is divided into three terms of eight weeks each, Michaelmas, Fall, Hillary, Spring, and Trinity, Summer, and the university's official language is English. Because non-European Union students pay a higher tuition rate, the university and its academic departments and institutes and dozens of other organizations have made over 900 graduate student scholarships accessible. Number 3. Stanford University. Stanford University was founded in 1885 and is located around 30 miles south of San Francisco in California's Bay Area. Over half of the student body attends graduate school, and this college has a stringent admission policy, with percentages ranging from 0% to 
around 8% of undergraduate students and about 30% of graduates are foreign. Stanford's academic calendar is quarter-based, and English is the primary teaching language. Also, SU offers students a wide range of educational services, including a library, housing, athletic facilities, scholarships, study tours, exchange programs, e-learning, online distance courses, and administration and management. Number 2. Harvard University. Harvard University was founded in 1636 and is the oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. The majority of students at Harvard are graduate students, and more than 20% of the student body is international. Harvard is centered in Cambridge, Massachusetts, but it also maintains facilities in the adjacent city of Boston, such as the Harvard Medical School. The institution's academic calendar is semester-based, and English is the primary teaching medium. Harvard conducts research across a wide variety of subjects via more than 100 centers. This college has a stringent admission process based on entrance tests and students' prior academic records and grades, with percentages ranging between 0 and 10%. Number 1. Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology was founded in 1861 and is located near Boston in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Around 11,000 students attend the university, with approximately 60% pursuing graduate degrees. With an admittance rate of between 0 and 10%, this is the world's most exclusive university. MIT's academic calendar is a 414 schedule with a four-week independent activity period in January. Undergraduate and graduate students, professors, staff, and alumni all engage in forums, seminars, recitals, and other special events throughout this period. By the time they graduate, over 90% of MIT undergraduates have participated in its Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program, which pairs students with professors for research projects. Hope this video was helpful? Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.